In this video, we'll be looking at the negative angle identities. So let's start with sine of negative theta. Sine of negative theta. This is our negative theta since it's starting at the x-axis and rotating clockwise. And uh, this one will be our positive theta. We know that the sine of positive theta is y over r. The sine of negative theta is negative y over r. So negative y over r. And this is the same as a negative y over r, which is a negative sine theta. So we're going to use that idea to get our other negative angle identity. Let me write this one, sine of negative theta is equal to a negative theta. So you can see then from our reference triangle that the y value is the negative of this y value. And so any of our trig functions that have a y in them will be the negative of the trig function in the first quadrant. When I talk about cosine of negative theta, that's x over r, which is the same as the cosine of a positive theta. So I can write that. And then the tangent of a negative theta is negative y over x. And so that's going to be the negative of the tangent of theta, which is y over x. Now, if we do the reciprocals, they should have the sine-sine relationship. So I can write the cosecant of negative theta is equal to negative cosecant theta. And the secant of negative theta is equal to the secant theta and then the cotangent of negative theta is equal to the cotangent. 